Hey, so uh, I want to show you the uh, setup that I use to test the biofuel production um, and see whether or not it'd be feasible to uh, to do that to uh, power a boiler. And uh, this is what I use to set it up. I got uh, six tree farms here and a wheat farm. Um, and it's it's quite a setup. Um, so, like I mentioned in my comment, it's it's doable, but it's not very practical. Um, so let me uh, start at the beginning here. Um, I got all this set up in a circular fashion, so it comes everything comes out this way, goes through the tree farms, all the way around, and back in over here. Um, So this is all coming in. I got charcoal and hummus coming in. Um, the logger is pumping things out, going around. Saplings drop back in uh, here, along with any hummus that's needed. And uh, sand is, is pumped out the side here. Uh, I'm using these steam engines just because I like the output. You can run them forever. Uh, you don't have to worry about them blowing up or anything like that. And uh, charcoal is coming through and feeding those. Anything that's not needed is cycled through the through again. Um, and yes, logging in and out tends to drop a few things. So, um, and I have a couple of aqueous accumulators here to supply these these engines. And it just goes through, cycles through. Um, apples also come through here. Um, the wood and, and apples are bypassed over here uh, along with the hummus and the charcoal just gets pumped through here into the wheat farm to keep this running. Um, the output from this goes down into here and into a moistener. And uh, this cycles through this way again and then back um, back into here. Okay, so all this is coming in, hits this gate, separates uh, the saplings and the apples from everything else. Okay, and the apples go into squeezer, which produces apple juice and mulch. Okay, the apple juice goes into this uh, fermenter power this because it provides a, a greater uh, output. Um, the saplings come up here, cycle through this system. Um, so it's a it's a loop that I set up here. So they will feed, you know, if one of the, this is full, I'll keep going around and around and around until it, it can find something to fill it up with. Um, because of how I got this set up, this is actually producing more power than I need. Uh, so I can take these saplings here, dump them in here, and you'll see how fast it just tears right through them. Um, and this produces a fair amount of biofuel. Um, you see here I get two refineries hooked up just because when it's going, it's it's going. Uh, it just <laughs> six tree farms and I just can't get enough saplings out of it. Um, but it does produce enough uh, biofuel, you know, biomass comes in here to the refineries. They can barely keep up with it. Um, it produces a fair amount, but it's it's not what I would consider enough to effectively run a large boiler. Um, Maybe if you want to run a smaller one, uh, which would be more fuel efficient, uh, low pressure maybe, it would work well. Um, but a large high pressure boiler, just it's, it'll burn through it pretty fast. Um, now off to the other, other side. Um, any excess mulch comes through here um, and it gets sorted by this gate. So wood mulch go off in this direction. Um, anything that's not filtered goes into this chest, 
which is going to be basically your hummus and uh, charcoal and that gets pushed back through the system okay uh, the sand gets pushed over here uh, along with anything else that gets caught up in the system that uh, I, I put in the filter here okay now over here the mulch goes into this carpenter and the wood goes into this chest which is then put into the circular system and feeds this powered furnace which just burns through it and creates more charcoal than you need uh, to keep this uh, high pressure boiler running. Now the carpenter will take the mulch, all you got to do is manually input dirt in here and it will turn it um, into your hummus so that uh, you know it will feed your tree farms. Now over here I have the um, input from the wheat farm going in here and seeds and so on pumping back out uh, just to create another circular system and I got a moistener in here uh, which is running and creating mulch and mycelium so you, you get a few things that are output from this system you get an excess of uh, mycelium seeds wood and sand uh, but otherwise the only thing you need to actually input in is dirt uh, everything else is self-contained it's a high pressure boiler run just off of charcoal and it, it produces a fair amount of power these are all industrial steam engines producing a, a MJ a, a piece um, and as you can see it's no trouble keeping up with it you could probably run a few extra things off of there and and you'd be fine um, but it's pretty self-contained um, low maintenance system there's more I could do with it if I wanted to uh, work with these gates more um, maybe put in some AND gates or something in there to automate it a little bit better but this was just a, a quick dirty setup to uh, to see what was possible um, anyway I, uh, I hope this was somewhat informative and uh, maybe gives you some ideas and some things to do who knows um, but it was an interesting test. It was fun to find out uh, what what I could do with it and uh, what the possibilities were there. Anyway, hope you have a good day.